As you are well aware, the Federal Government has only just made a policy announcement on border protection. I'd just like to make it clear from the outset that I'm not here today to talk about that, but rather the incredible efforts overnight of the HMAS Wollongong crew, supported by HMAS Broome, who were involved in a major sea rescue operation in the Indian Ocean last night. Uh, what I'm about to describe is a rescue operation in international waters, and I'd just like to make it clear that the people involved were at no stage placed uh, under detention. And for those of you who might have seen me about a year ago uh, when we announced uh, CF uh, 36, uh, at least I have a good news story to tell you today. Uh, yesterday evening, the Australian Maritime Safety Authority requested the patrol boat HMAS Wollongong, operating under the control of Border Protection Command, to respond to a distress call received from a vessel some 148 kilometres east southeast of Christmas Island in the Indian Ocean. The distress call was initially received at the Australian Federal Police Office in Jakarta, and that information was immediately provided to the Australian Maritime Search and Rescue Authority uh, Rescue Coordination Centre in Canberra, who in turn tasked HMAS Wollongong to respond. At approximately 8.42 p.m. last night, HMAS Wollongong reached the distressed vessel in international waters 131 kilometres east-southeast of Christmas Island to render appropriate assistance. After obtaining permission from the 70 crew and passengers on board the vessel, HMAS Wollongong crew members boarded the vessel and it was apparent that the people on board were concerned that they were lost at sea and that uh, they clearly expressed a wish to come to Australia and that they indicated that the intended destination was indeed Christmas Island. From initial investigations of our boarding party, the vessel appeared to be seaworthy and the passengers indicated that they were happy to remain on board while being escorted to Christmas Island. And of course, because it was at night, that was uh, the most safest uh, course to keep the people on board the vessel while taking them to Christmas Island. While under close escort to Christmas Island, the vessel began to take on water and the transfer of the passengers to HMAS Wollongong immediately commenced. Sixteen passengers, including all the women, uh, some of whom I might add were pregnant, and children were transferred safely to HMAS Wollongong. Uh, the distressed vessel began to sink more quickly, and the remaining passengers, and indeed our Navy steaming party on board, all of whom were wearing life jackets, uh, abandoned ship and jumped into the water. These people were quickly rescued from the water, and their health and safety is obviously and was the obvious number one concern for the captain of HMAS Wollongong. The people were immediately treated for shock and minor ailments once they were on board HMAS Wollongong. Uh, by this stage, the patrol boat HMAS Broome had also arrived on the scene and supported the rescue operation. While all indications are that the passengers and crew on board the stricken vessel are now safely aboard HMAS Wollongong, HMAS Broome has been tasked to remain in the area to ensure that there are no people left uh, in the water. And indeed, a Royal Australian Air Force AP-3C Orion Maritime Patrol aircraft is assisting HMAS Broome with this operation today. In other words, we don't want to leave any, anything to chance. Uh, I might also just add that one of the English-speaking passengers on board the vessel has indicated that all people have been rescued. But again, I make the point, we're not going to leave uh, that to chance. HMAS Wollongong is currently on its way to Christmas Island with the rescued passengers who are now safe with no apparent health issues. Obviously, rescue operations like this are always extremely difficult, and the fact that the rescue took place safely in the dark is a credit to all of those involved. Uh, finally, we recognise the fine efforts of the officers of the Australian Defence Force, the Customs and Border Protection Service, and indeed the Australian Maritime Safety Authority, and in particular the crews of HMAS Wollongong and HMAS Broome last night. At this stage, we are unsure why the vessel sank, and an inquiry will now be held to determine exactly what happened and why the vessel sank. Ladies and gentlemen, that, in, that concludes my opening remarks, and I'd be delighted to answer any questions uh, that anyone might have. What was the precise nature of the initial distress call? Was it just that they were concerned that they were lost? It, 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 no, in fact, it wasn't even that. It was just that a vessel was in distress uh, and, uh, and an error was given, and clearly that uh, it, uh, it was something that HMOs Wollongong then was tasked to, to render assistance as might be appropriate. But they were really lost, were they? They seemed to have missed the island by a fair distance. Well, that was the indication when we got on board that they were lost and that they were intending to head to Christmas Island. And, and as with any rescue at sea, as I make the point that this was a rescue at sea, the first thing we'll ask is permission to board because uh, we weren't doing an apprehension. It was international waters. 
uh, we always asked where people were headed and they clearly indicated that Christmas Island was their, uh, their intended destination and hence our offer to escort them to Christmas Island. Where are they from? Do you know? Any idea? Um, look, that, that will be determined uh, at this stage. Our priority has been the rescue of the people, and uh, that will clearly uh, unfold uh, close to the time when they get to Christmas Island. What were the sea conditions like? Um, look, it was in the dark. Uh, it wasn't overly rough, it, but uh, moderate sea conditions uh, with, a, with a, a fairly gentle breeze blowing. Yeah. No, no, it was good conditions at the time. Uh, the issue is being in the dark, it was far safer rather than trying to move 70 odd people in the dark to Wollongong was to leave them on board. They were happy to remain on board while we escort, escorted them to the intended uh, destination. How long did it take to get them out of the water? Um, I think, uh, you know, I haven't got the exact timing there, but you know, it was acted on very quickly. HMA's broom had arrived by then, so we had boats, you know, effectively four uh, rigid hull inflatable boats from the two, two ships to, to rescue the people. Personnel have any suspicion that the boat may have been at risk of sinking before boarding? No, look, all the indications on, uh, from our first boarding was that the vessel was in reasonable shape. Uh, but clearly, uh, it, during the course of the escort, the vessel started taking on water and that built up where the vessel finally ended up sinking. Any ideas why at this stage? No, look, and I, and I wouldn't like to, uh, to, to, to guess as to why the vessel sank and, and that we'll wait for the investigation to determine that. Uh, the, the key issue, though, that everyone was taken off safely uh, you know, vessels can be replaced, but human lives are precious, and uh, that was the number one priority. What, what sort of vessel was it? Was it a wooden hull boat? Yeah, it, you know, it would appear to be your typical wooden hull vessel that's, uh, that's frequently involved in uh, you know, bringing people to, to Australia. How many of the women that you said were treated, how many are there in terms of pregnancy? Uh, my understanding is that two of the, 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 the women on board were, were pregnant. Yeah. And the children? What ages? What... Uh, look, I've got no indication of the ages of the children. Uh, again, I'm not... Uh, trying to, uh, you know, the, the captain of the ship has had his hands full just dealing with, uh, with the rescue situation, so that information will become clearer you know, as time unfolds. How did they get a distress call out uh, that it actually went to the AFP in Jakarta? Yeah, you know, the, the way these distress calls could be made on satellite phones by all sorts of means, I don't know how that call ended up there, but the bottom line is once a distress call is received by AMSA, you know, they will always act on it immediately and will provide whatever support is needed. Rear Admiral, there's going to be intense interest, in, given the announcements of today and where these people came from. Hmm. Could, we, could you get back to us or could we, we, we get back to you on where they came from? Look, I think that would be a matter for uh, either the Department of Immigration and Citizenship to, to make an announcement if they are uh, in a position to do that. Uh, clearly, at, uh, at this stage, I have no indication of, of where the, the, these particular people are from. Speaking on the boat, not say. Uh, look, I don't have that detail at hand, but uh, the bottom line is that he indicated that all the people have been rescued. Um, our concern is to make sure that, in fact, that is the case. Semi related, as a senior member of the Defence Force, do you believe that Afghanistan is a safe place to be? Look, I'm here today to talk about uh, the safe rescue of people at sea, and, uh, and it wouldn't be appropriate for me to comment on it in, in, this, in this forum. Well, given your responsibilities with Border Protection Command, do you have any knowledge of whether any more boats are actually heading for Christmas Island or Australia? Uh, I'd like to make the point I'm not here today. I'm a former uh, Commander of Border Protection Command. I'm now the Deputy Chief of Joint Operations. So we're talking about the ADF's contribution to border protection and, uh, and a rescue at sea last night using one of our assets. Does the ADF have any idea that any more boats might be heading for Australia or Christmas Island? Look, at this stage, as, as you've seen, there have been a, has been a steady flow of vessels arriving in our waters, and clearly our job is to be able to uh, safely respond to, to those, uh, those incidents at sea. Do you know if any more are on the way, though? It wouldn't be appropriate for me to comment on operational or, indeed, intelligence matters, and, uh, and again, that would be reserved for either Border Protection Command or uh, the appropriate uh, lead agency. How many ADF personnel jumped into the water when the uh, at the time of the uh, the sinking we had a, a steaming party as they know they were a team of four on board the vessel and uh, and they were on board the vessel when it sank. Did it sink quickly? Um, it, it started initially sinking slowly, but obviously as it took on more water, that uh, that uh, flow of water built up, and uh, and that forced the evacuation of the people from the vessel. This time wasn't being towed or anything? No, no, the, the vessel was under its own power. So it was being escorted, under close escort, by, with a, a team of four on board by HMAs Wollongong. So who's going to do the investigation into why it did sink? And well, what, what, and what, what we do is, uh, you know, we, we'll do an initial, uh, what we call a, a quick assessment, just to establish the facts, and then we'll do a routine inquiry, uh, an internal defence uh, inquiry uh, into that, and uh, we'll see what comes out of that. Will 
Yeah, yeah. Look, I, I have no doubt that uh, you know, in the in the uh, interests of full transparency, I mean, this was a rescue at sea. Uh, that will be made available in, in due course. So, so he, one in more so there's no indication at this stage whether this sinking could have been deliberate at all. Look again, I wouldn't like to speculate. Uh, the bottom line for us is that we were able to safely rescue those people uh, in, a, in a quite a demanding situation last night and do that effectively. You don't know how they managed to contact the AFP? No, I don't. I mean, we purely responded to uh, a request from uh, the Australian Maritime Search and Rescue Authority to uh, provide HMOs Wollongong to uh, pr provide assistance. Uh, look, I, I really, you know, how that information was passed to uh, the AFP office in Jakarta, I, I don't know.